Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. I am Facundo Carvajo and in this video you will see how I create my own GitHub README profile. Get a GitHub README profile. It's very important to show you as a developer. Here you have to add all the experience that you have, all the skills too, and add some link to any social media that you have for when someone see your profile, he or she can contact with you quickly. Well, as you can see, this is how looks my GitHub README profile. I don't like it, so I want to change it. First, to get this GitHub README profile, we have to add a new repository with the same name as your username. Like you can see, I already have this repository created. You can create one doing this. I can't do it because I already have one. Before creating the README profile, I want to get some inspiration seeing other professionals' profiles. You will have the link to see this GitHub README in the description of the video. First, I want to create a banner to put on my GitHub README. I create these banners on all the images that you can see on YouTube using Figma. I use Chakra UI when I use React, and I really like the colors that this library has. So I use these colors to make some linear gradients. Now I take a screenshot of the banner and I will put this photo to a cloud of images. It's called MGBV. It's free and I recommend this app to hold the images on the cloud. Now we copy the link of the image and then inside of the readme file that it's in your repository. If you don't have the readme file you have to create it. And here I will add the image using the image tag. In source, I paste the URL of the image. And finally, we can see how our banner looks. Now, I want to add some text in our README profile, like my name and some personal information about myself. Fortunately, I already write the personal information when I create my website. So I just copy and paste from there. It's looking nice, but like the name, it's already there by default for GitHub. I decided to remove it from the README profile. Now it's time for the skills. I want to add the icons of each language library and framework that I know. To do that, I will just search some image on Google and then I will copy the URL of each image and finally I will paste it on the image tag in the source section. Also, I will customize the width of the image. Then. I will do the same with all of my skills. A contact me section is important because it's the major way where someone will contact us. So I will do the same that I have done with the skills section but with links to my social media accounts and of course to my personal website.
Also, we can add some GitHub stats to our README profile like this. In the description of the video, you will have the link to this GitHub repository where all of these are explained in detail. But I am not going to put these GitHub stats on my README profile because I want to be more simple. I almost leave my GitHub profile like this, but I realized that I forgot some very important thing, my experience, the work that I made and so on. You don't have to put only works for clients, you can put some projects that you have made yourself. The important thing is that they can see how you work how you write code and, if it's possible, the final result of your projects. I will add some projects that I made and also I will add some images and gifts to create a professional feeling. To add gifts to a markdown file, first we have to create an account on this website. You will have the link to this app in the description of the video. Upload the video that we want to convert in a gift. This video has to be very short, no longer than 5 seconds. I edit before it to make sure that all that I want to share will be seen in 5 seconds. Once we have the GIF, we click on Share and then we copy the link. In the Markdown file, we add the image tag and in the Source section, we add the link that we copied before. I will modify the width of this GIF to make it prettier. And like this, I will add more projects. Once we have already done that, we have to commit our repository and after that, in our profile, we will see our new GitHub readme profile, which as far as I know, it's beautiful. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you get some inspiration for doing your own GitHub readme profile. And if you like the video, you can hit the like button and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.